It sure seems to me, Tom, and again, you're you're closer to it than I am in terms of talking to league sources and you know becoming an expert on public health that you probably never thought you'd have to be to do your job that the first three weeks of the season where we just all go about our business not thinking about this as fans that's over right that's that 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 it, the nfl would be lucky signed for right now that they will hold another week in the nfl season where all the games that are scheduled are played on time and every single team tests negative in the same way that the first three weeks happened. Would you say essentially we're looking at the new normal for the rest of the year, Tom? Not necessarily just based upon what the NFL and the NFL PA believe happened uh, in Tennessee. And that's not to say that there was a, uh, a concerted effort on the part of the Titans to violate the protocols or to uh, do anything untoward, but there was a, a level of, let's say, complacency that the league and the union believe set in there through which protocols were violated and allowed uh, a virus to spread within the team that had previously not spread, certainly not to this degree, within any other team. So there was an appeal made on this past Monday from the NFL to head coaches, general managers. There were some owners on a call. The message was very clear. It was the protocols are not failing. In some cases, people are failing. So we all have a responsibility. Nobody can get complacent if we want to actually finish this season. Uh, at the same time, there has to be an appeal made, and some of this is going to be coming from the clubs to the players, uh, that players also cannot get complacent, that they, that they have a role. Nobody in all of this, and you can say what you will about you know the hundreds of millions of dollars that are at stake for NFL clubs, but for players, many of whom do not have $100 million in the bank, uh, you're running risks on multiple levels if a season gets shut down. If the season stops, if the games are canceled after this week, you stop getting paid. You got paid through five weeks. Your other 12 game checks are gone. Those don't come back. And on top of that, the impact on revenue would be so great that there would be a ripple effect on salary caps for years to come that would cause players to be released, that would cause free agency, but for the top uh, you know, handful of guys or the, you know, the top echelon. Guys would not get as much money. I mean, huge things at stake for players here. So, you know, maybe this is a reset point. The NFL, I know there was some speculation. Are they going to pause the season uh, at this point? Could they take a week off, reschedule things into week 18? Could they even take two weeks off, shorten the season to 14 games? Uh, at this point, again, their, their focus right now is on finding ways to have these games take place and to do it in a medically sound way. And a big part of that. Uh, involves following the protocols. And I would also make this point, Rich. Yes. Uh, I was in Green Bay for the Packers-Falcons game on Monday night. And if you've ever been to Green Bay and flipped around the local news stations, every head coach, as long as I can remember there, has a series of kind of these low-fi, low-budget commercials for a variety of different cable companies, phone companies, whatever. Matt LaFleur has one that actually looked pretty high-budget that was all about wearing a mask. And it was it was starring him. And I will tell you this. I was in, I was in the, you know, Northeast Wisconsin for 48 hours, went into a handful of, you know, gas stations, restaurants, whatever. And everyone has a sign on the outside saying masks required to come inside. And in every place, I would say many, if not most of the people were not wearing masks. So when Mark Murphy makes the announcement that because of uncontrolled spread, because we're one of the COVID-19 hotspots in the entire country, we are not going to have fans in the stands until uh, those numbers go down and until we feel it is safe. Uh, that's an inevitable outcome. Uh, you know, uh, we can always have a, an intellectual debate about mortality rates and, um, you know, the strength of the virus and, and all those types of things. But listen, if you want football to come back, if you want a layer of normality, you have to take these baseline type of precautions. And as we've seen in the NFL, the Titan situation aside, there have been a lot of places, there have been a lot of infections that have, of people that have entered the building, but it hasn't spread to others because they are following those protocols. So you're saying, again, I, I just have about 90 seconds left. You're saying most of the people you saw in Green Bay where uh, hospitals are overflowing and the, the governors uh, of the state said they have to build a field hospital, not wearing masks from what you saw. Is that what you're saying? I would say it is fair to say repeatedly I encountered people. There certainly were, were folks that did wear masks as well. But I would tell you in every rest stop that I had to hit on the way back to grab a coffee in Boyd, Wisconsin or Wausau or, you know, in the, in the greater Green area, 
there were many people not following uh, the mask mandate, which, again, uh, we can we can talk about the reason we can talk about the virus. We can talk about the politicization of, of science. It's if you don't wear a mask, you are not going to have nice things like fans in the stands at Lambeau Field. And, you know, I've, I've been to two games there this year. I've been to probably I mean, going back to my days with the Green Bay Press Gazette, 100 games in that stadium. And it is a shame. It's an absolute shame that we're sitting there watching games and you don't have roll out the barrel. You don't have, you know, the smell of bratwurst and Miller Lite as you're walking through the parking lot. Yeah, it's too no, bad. No skull in Minnesota and all that stuff. 